Hi, first graders, it's Mrs. Williams here. We're going to talk about some sound energy. And we know that we have something that we use to hear. And when we hear vibrations, that's our eardrum that helps us to hear. And today we're going to look at um, some experiments that use sound energy with a solid, a liquid, and a gas. And sometimes in science, they call those mediums, just a big fancy word, but it means the same kind of thing. Um, so I have here today a lollipop drum. It's right here. And I have some salt that I'm going to put out. And I'm going to simulate sound with a tuning fork. And we're going to see the energy that travels through a lollipop drum, not our eardrum, but a dr different kind of drum. So I'm going to take my tuning fork that I have here. And I'm going to activate it with something that has hard rubber, such as a sole of my shoe. Today I happen to have a boot, but you can use anything with hard rubber. So as far as at home, if you have something, maybe you have a fork that has wider prongs that you could use for the same thing. So I'm getting my tuning fork activated, and then by putting it on the drum, you're able to see the movement from it. Okay? Um, but let's try a different kind of drum, one with a rubber base. Okay, so we have a metal, the lollipop, lollipop drum that we have here is metal. And so now we're going to try one that has a balloon over it. So at home, you could make a drum if you have a can and you have an old balloon that's popped. You could put it over your can to make your own drum to try this at your house. So I'm going to activate my tuning fork and you can see the sound waves going on that. Okay, so this is something you could make at home. All I have is a can and um, I put rubber bands just to hold the, the balloon part down. Um, and you could try it with some salt at your house. And the next thing I have is I have some water to see how sound travels through a liquid. Okay, so I'm going to activate my tuning fork on a boot and see how it made the water move. The sound going through the, the water there, you can see the water moving everywhere. Okay, it's pretty cool. And the next thing I'm going to try is show you how it moves through the air. So I have a ping pong ball here. Get some water out of the way. A ping pong ball that I'm going to generate my tuning fork and then see how it makes it move. I'm not moving the, the ping pong ball, but the energy from the tuning forks is moving it. Let's try one more time. So it's kind of shooting it across with this energy from the tuning fork. So anyhow, just some sound energy things you could do at home. We obviously have different sounds inside of our house that we can be observant with. And observing means just paying attention to inside or outside. So that's all for today. Have a great day. Thanks. Goodbye.